Donald Trump uh, brings up uh, Adam Schiff. And uh, I want you to watch this video and then we can speculate about what exactly he's implying here. Well, there's only one person I want more than uh, Where's Hunter, and that is Adam Schiff. I want to put that guy with his uh, with his way. What's your, what's your I, first question for Adam something, Schiff? I almost said something that might have been slightly controversial. Yes. I didn't just say I'm learning. See that, Steve? I'm learning. What? But after all these years, I finally learned. So they're awkwardly smiling. Best case scenario, he was joking about locking Adam Schiff up. It's either. Anti-Semitism or homophobia, like that's where I'm gravitating. Well, what's the homophobia? His way, like oh, his oh, way. I don't I know. I didn't even see that. I mean, definitely the shifty shift. That's that's just an anti-Semitic thing. That's that's all that is. We're I just, supposed to pretend that it's just a clever nickname he came up with. No, it's just anti-Semitism. But the goal of this is just to obfuscate, just to have enough of a word cloud of of. Catch phrases from conspiracy theories people vaguely know. Just the ability to say crowd strike, it's like going squirrel. Yeah. But like Yovanovitch, or no, uh, Fiona Hill in her testimony, she summarized like what she's afraid the Russians want. And I know people hear the word Russia and they're like, Russia gate, go, I'm going away now. Mm. But but regardless of whether it comes from Russia or anything else, but the idea that that she says like they wanted to make sure whoever they had bet on or whoever they tried to tip the scales would also experience some discomfort, that they were beholden to them in some way, that they would create just the kind of chaos we have in our political in our politics. So I just want to again emphasize that we need to be very careful as we discuss all of these issues, not to give them fodder that they can use against us in 2020. Yeah. And to create this doubt, and what you see is all of the people that that doubt, the people without integrity, that that doubt has emboldened to, to gravitate toward that ambiguity. Yeah. And that's why you see the Fox and Friends people who have no problem mortgaging their integrity. Mm -hmm. You see Jack it off Jim Jordan mortgaging his integrity and coming before everyone on the stage and jacketing off all over the Constitution. Devin Nunes, Devin Nunes who is I currently- what do, you, what do you have on Devin Nunes? Devin Nunes is, has sued a fictional cow on Twitter. For and being then, mean to him. For being mean to him, also he's suing his mom on Twitter. And, and, he has the, and he has the lack of integrity to start every statement with, this is a huge waste of resources and a bastardization of the legal system. <laughs> That's Devin Nunes. It's the people who have no yes. integrity and, and, and they will absolutely go before uh, the American people mm -hmm. hoping, praying that no one gives a crap. Yeah. And you just need to give a crap. Yes. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.